Hey everybody, welcome back to Hammercat Games. My name's producer Mike, and I'm happy to be with you guys this Tuesday evening. Getting started a little later than we planned, but we're going to play some uh, Tecmo Super Bowl NCAA rosters from last year because, well, probably isn't going to be a season, so I thought, why not start our own season in Tecmo? It's my favorite game. I'm going to add some... Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on that desktop audio. I've got my um, lucky Ohio State sweater. Let's see if I can put on a hoodie on stream. Do I have that much talent? Yes, I can. Cool. And red goes good with the green screen. It also breaks up the black. So, yeah. So, I thought we would do a season and... Um, If you guys know anything about me, I will give you one guess who I'm going to team control as man. And that's right. It's going to be Ohio State. Uh, coach? No, not coach. Here we go. Cool. Let's check out our schedule. Sorry about that. I had to increase the brightness on my screen. All right. So let's check out our schedule. We've got Clemson versus Bama. We've got uh, Ohio State versus Cincinnati in week two. All right. Good. Auto skip to week two. Let's do this. Probably going to play one game tonight. Because uh, we're getting a late start. Who, who won that? Who won that? Standings. Oh, I can't even tell. SEC. Bama lost. They lost 31 to 21. All right. Ohio State, Cincinnati. Here we go. Let's do this. And there's my microphone. Yeah, we're good. Even the volume's good. I love it. Their audio for this ROM is not perfect. It could be my emulator. I don't know what's going on. So I have awfully mixed feelings about what's been going on in college football. It seems pretty obvious that the players want to play. I'm going to go into my options. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I'm doing all this preferences uh, I just kind of want to make the audio normal can I do sound primary subject 8 bit mono there we go maybe if I make it 8 bit it'll help I don't know let's see let's see if this works okay that was a killer return. I gotta pick Chase Young. That's better. There we go. We're good. I might have to do some editing of this video for sure. Nice. I mean, Cincinnati, I'm not trying to pick on you. I'm not trying to cause injuries, but... I make good tackles, especially in the first game. So yeah, I want to play this uh, season with you guys and see how far we get. Um, I'm not going to... Like if we lose in the playoffs or something, that's just going to be that. We have to deal with it. My Tecmo Super Bowl game is a little off. It's a little rusty. So might not win the Super Bowl, the Rose Bowl, in this season. Might lose in the playoffs, but you never know. Might get lucky. Okay, first thing is Benjamin Victor is not the kick returner. Wilson is the kick returner. There we go. Okay. We'll start with a little run game. Let's keep him honest. We'll 
Well, that's one interesting way to get one yard. I've got to figure out this audio. This is ugly. And Benjamin Victor. Ah! Oh! Making easy stuff look difficult. Thank you, Benjamin Victor. That's very appropriate. Okay. Um, We'll play action. And KJ Hill, who's off to the NFL in the seventh round. Thank you, KJ Hill. Early touchdown. Very nice of you. So, guys, if this is your first time joining us on um, Hammercat Games, consider giving us a hit that like button. Consider joining us by hitting subscribe. And the bell icon's kind of nice. And you can. Watch us play some more Tecmo Super Bowl NCAA. Um, play City Skylines on Tuesdays. Uh, Kato in Motion is my co-host. And he and I play beat-em-ups um, on Fridays. And we talk about the news. We got our little show called Beating Up the News. Um, right now, the beat-em-up that we're playing is a 2020 game called Tonight We Riot. On Mondays, Kato plays League of Legends and gives financial news financial kind of updates nice who who intercepted that white why am i drawing a blank who that safety is and dobbins getting some tough yards i dig it I also thought about doing maybe a, a speed run or two on this on this um, channel. A speed run of uh, Tecmo Super Bowl, for example. You can do speed runs for... Well, you can do speed runs for almost any game nowadays. But um, you can do speed runs for fastest game played, fastest season played. Obviously, I can't do that with the NCAA hack. I got to do it with the, um, with the actual game. with the actual NFL 1991 version of the game, the original game. But, um, knew they picked my play, and I still got a touchdown with J.K. Dobbins. You know, first game of the season, the AI, the drones, are not nearly as difficult as later in the season. So, let's not, let's not get too cocky. We know how early season Tecmo Super Bowl feels. It feels good. And then you get to, like, game seven, and you get a scare versus, like, Iowa or something. Special teams. Getting roughed up on special teams. Got to go with Jeff Okuda. I love it. This guy's too good. This defense last year was insane. That's really a shame that we lost in the semifinal playoff. I think we would have given LSU a good game. I'm not saying we would have won. I have mad respect for Joe Burrow and the season he had. And LSU were true champions. But I don't know. I'm really bummed out we didn't. I mean, to say the least, I'm bummed out that we didn't beat Clemson in the semifinal. Clemson has truly become... Uh, I mean, U of M is always going to be our biggest rival, but uh, Clemson has become our biggest uh, national rival. It's different when it's um, the adjacent state and when it's this other team. And Clemson has beaten us um, all three times they've faced us. That's not, it's not good. We don't have that same relationship with any other team in college football. Just, just Clemson. Clemson has had our number. I don't like saying it, but it's kind of the truth. Sending it to Chris Olave, wide open. I love it. And we can take this to the house. We can take this to the house. There we go. Got to get that audio fixed, though. Got to get that cleaned up. I've heard this game sounding better before. <laughs> you can make it, game. You can do it. I'll check my audio settings, make sure everything's okay. It's like it's, it's, like it's chopping things up, you know? The glitch remix.
Gotta make sure they don't score before half, but it should be pretty easy. You know, first games of the season, like I said, pretty forgiving. Like, I just did a terrible job tackling them there. You can't do that late in the season. Every snap counts late in the season. This is not late in the season. This is chill. I'm going to rush the quarterback. No, I'm not. That was well played by them. I give them credit. Let's maybe try to make sure they don't do play action on us. Nope, they don't. I'm going to rush the quarterback. I can't believe that audio. I've got to get that junk fixed up. Next time, guys, I'll get that junk fixed up. Because you got to love the, the Tecmo Super Bowl soundtrack, so. Glad I slowed him down enough. Good technique. Circling the drones. I wonder if they're going to do Tecmo Madison this year. If there's going to be any kind of... um. Kind of online tournament. Be curious to see that. Oh, not a touchback. Oh, that's halftime. Well, let's watch the halftime show. <laughs> this audio. I got to get this cleaned up. Well, now's an opportunity for me to remind you guys to, um, for our whoo hey uh for our own halftime show don't forget to hit like and subscribe kato emotion i really appreciate it we're growing this channel week by week you guys a few more views every week but not too many new subscribers so if you guys are some of our new viewers consider it doesn't cost you anything and justin fields runs for a first down beautiful Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, I did not run very well with JK. Let's see how our team's doing. Probably still mostly average. It's first game of the season. Yeah. KJ Hill is doing pretty well. I dig it. Let's keep running with JK. It's conservative, but you know, we got to get the running game established this year. Got to put the ball in Justin Fields' hands. Got to put the ball in Justin Fields' hands. Making something happen. Finding the open receiver. The glitchy music. All of it. You know, so... Two of my worlds kind of have been converging this week. And um, I love experiencing healthy skepticism with my media sources and yeah out of bounds there are two kind of um media sources that i consume more than than other ones and um the first one is 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 college football news and ohio state news Ooh. Did not like that incompletion. That was not fun. Well, that's a touchdown. Sweet. Um, so two of my worlds converged. Two of my news media worlds converged. So I follow a lot of Ohio State news and a lot of uh, college football news. Um, and I follow a lot of uh, progressive media on YouTube news. And um, those worlds kind of converged this week as various uh, progressive channels started complaining about the idea of the Big Ten and the Pac-12 canceling their football seasons. And, um, oh my gosh, more injuries. I'm sorry, Cincinnati. It's nothing personal. I'm not trying to injure you. Um, and when those worlds converged, I found that if the person actually knew what they were talking about, if they were actually a sports fan, they gave the nuance. Now, that's not necessarily that they wanted there to be a season and that they said it was the healthiest thing for the players, etc. Um, and I don't even know if I feel that way. Um, but I saw Emma Viglin give some decent coverage because she's a football fan, you know, and she could give it that nuance. 
And the thing she was talking about is the fact that the the college football players generate a lot of revenue and they don't get paid for it. I agree with her. I think if you're going to be a college football fan and I just don't I just don't know where your head's at if oh, oh no, that's a big run. That's a big run. I messed up. I'm talking too much. Oh no. I ruined the shutout. Oh well. That's what you get when you're doing less plays. Um, you ruin sh things like shutouts in Tecmo Super Bowl. Let's see if I can block this. Nope. Oh, I blocked it. Sweet. Chase Young. Um, but yeah, I saw some really good coverage from Emma Viglin because she is um, a football fan and she could give it the nuance that the story requires. Um, it's not... But some of the things I saw, some of the coverage I saw were people who weren't sports fans. And they basically treated us like a bunch of virus-denying meatheads that just, we need our sports, and 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 the poor children, the poor 18 to 22-year-old children are all going to die for our entertainment, and we're so heartless. And you know, I'm just, I'm getting real tired of the oversimplification, and I'm... I'm a fan of these people's channels for the most part, but I just, the lack of nuance is, um, is really disappointing, you know? Um, again, when I saw a sports fan covering it, they were talking about legitimate issues about, you know, here's an opportunity for, um, college football players to really, you know, dig their heels in and declare that, um, that they are revenue generators, that they're not just your average um, academic student. You know, that they do create a lot of wealth for these institutions and that they ought to be compensated in some way, shape, or form. And not just some lawsuit that means you get a hundred bucks in your, in your bank account years later. The name, image, and likeness uh, steps that they've taken this last year I think are long overdue. Anyways, when you're talking about, as a fan, wanting to at least stick to the protocols that they set forth in uh, in July, the schedule that they released at the beginning of August, or no, just like a couple weeks ago, that's the thing, that's the thing, all this stuff's happening so quickly. Um, Sticking to the schedule, sticking to the protocol that the players are tested three times a week, sticking to the protocols that the players need to essentially bubble themselves at their own universities and also questioning the double standard of okay so a lot of these universities are bringing the students back to campus for classes and you know at ohio state that's upwards of gosh 45 50 000 on the main campus i don't know how many people are going online nowadays but when i went to school it was very crowded so it's safe for that to happen but it's not safe for these uh athletes in a very controlled environment and, and given no i don't think it's completely safe i don't unless you're gonna put like some kind of mask thing on the helmet what are offensive and defensive linemen gonna do they're just gonna breathe in each other's faces you telling me that's not gonna be safe like you tell me i believe you if you're saying you know we have safety concerns i just look it looks like the season's over it looks like it's dead, at least for the Big Ten. And it, it seems like if the SEC, ACC, and Big 12 are going to push forward. I don't know. I don't know. It's just hard to say. It just seems like if they push forward with it, eventually there will be corona cases. Um, it just, it finds a way. It's like it spreads almost like a virus. What do you know? And, um... Can't believe I went on a corner blitz. What am I thinking? First down. Should have covered that guy. Another injury? I'm really not trying to do this to you, Sensi. Anyways, my point is, is two of my worlds converged, and I rarely hear um, kind of the left-wing media guys that I follow, and gals, uh, cover college football. It's just not their domain. And I often don't hear the college football people talk about politics. 
all of a sudden those worlds are converging and it makes me feel really uncomfortable. And um, you know what I will say this about that? The college football people that I follow don't pretend to know much about politics or if they do, they like keeping it to themselves. But man, I heard a lot of political commentators who think they know anything about college football. And it just, you know what it did? It grinded my gears. Look, it's not gonna change anything. The season's canceled. Ohio State's not playing. They might play in January. It's a big deal. We found a way to play through wars. We found a way to play year after year after year. And this year with the virus, and it is scary and it is dangerous. And it, it could go down in history as the right move. But the way it's been executed by the Big Ten leaves a lot to be desired with regards to clear communication and transparency. So, I will try to fix the audio, guys. Why am I playing this season? Because this might be the only college football we get to see <laughs> It's here on Tecmo Super Bowl. <laughs> And other various YouTubers playing video game uh, NCAA. So thanks you guys for joining us. Um, we beat Cincinnati 42 to 6. I messed up and uh, was talking too much and had Cincinnati score. So uh, hopefully next week we'll we'll try to get the goose egg on defense. But um, J.K. Dobbins getting 120 yards on the ground. That's nice. Justin Fields completion percentage 77%. 249 yards through the air, zero interceptions. Chris Olave with that one big interception for 77 yards. It's what we like to see. We let them have five first downs because I'm chatting through this thing. But you know what? I might as well chat because when we get to week seven, got to put my game face on. Lucky Ohio State sweatshirt is good for one more TSB win. Love to see that. Guys, um, if you like Tecmo Super Bowl, if you have feelings about college football, if you like NCAA football, leave a comment and if this is your first time at hammercat games thank you for joining us uh kato emotion and i try to make it an entertaining experience for you guys every monday tuesday and friday evening we try to stream around 7 p.m i got the stream started a lot later tonight sorry about that for any of those of you that keep that schedule um, but we try to stream at 7 p.m gmt plus two local brussels time we are in brussels belgium even though kevin is from canada and i am obviously from the state of Ohio. It's really the state of Ohio if you say the state. I know grammar. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. Welcome to Hammercap Games. If you like our content, please consider hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you on Friday. We will see you on Friday.